In this video, I want to take a little bit of a closer look at the length button and specifically get into Polymeter and how very easy it is to do polymetric sequences with Gate Nuevo. So you can see here I've got a uh, sequence laid out here on track number one. And uh, of course you uh, already know about clicking around and creating different step types. You can watch the previous videos if you have not already seen that. In this one I want to show you ways to make it go faster or to customize it a little bit more. And the first thing I want to talk about here is length. So by default, when you first start a new instance of Gate Nuevo and you begin editing, all 64 of the steps for that track are turned on. You can, of course, change that. So here, uh, for example, uh, what I can do is I can press the length button. You can see as soon as I hit that, it lights up. Now, once the length button is lit, all I need to do is click the last step that I want my sequence to finish on. So for example, maybe I'll click on this one here. And now this is my entire sequence. So you can see if I hit play, when the cursor comes to this last step, it simply goes around and it repeats from the beginning. Now one of the reasons that this can be very helpful is let's say that I had another track and I had some things happening here. Uh, when both of these are going, I'm gonna wire this one up to the scope so we can take a look. When both of these are going, they are in perfect synchronization. And if they're not in perfect synchronization, remember you can hit reset, that will snap everything back to the zero point, and then you can hit play. One of the cool things about length though, is that by shortening the length of one of my tracks, what I have done is I have created polymeter. Now there's a lot more videos about polymeter, but the short version, uh, the way that you can think about this is, for the amount of time that it takes this track to go all the way through its entire sequence, this track over here, which, was, which is a fraction of the length, will be able to go through its sequence in probably two and a half times. Now what this means is that over time, the steps don't line up. They change, they go out of sync, and then they come back in synchronization. Now to make this a little bit more audible, let me go ahead and set up something for you to hear this. All right, so I've added a couple of modules here to the setup. You can see that there are now two tom drums. One of them is a low tom. One of them is set to be a medium tom. Each of these are going to go in the output so we can listen, and the scope is still set up to allow us to hear this. Now I'm using two tracks here. So you can see on track one, I have this pattern where we're going to play on the first beat. Uh, we're going to play on every fourth beat for the bar. And then likewise here on track two, I have the exact same pattern. Okay, now this is important. Now listen, when I first start it, they are playing together. And if we let this go, they would continue to play together over and over. What I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to change the length. And on this first track here, I'm going to shorten the length down, and I'm going to cut off uh, really just a step to give me an odd amount of steps. So this track has an odd amount of steps, and this track still has all of its steps. Now listen to what happens. The cursor will move along, and the first time it plays through, it will be in synchronization. But then as soon as the cursor gets here, on the first track, it's gonna jump back. Now each time this cursor jumps back, what you'll notice is the amount of timing between the two tracks changes. And this is the key characteristic of polyrhythm. So take a listen. There's a lot more interesting things you can do, but I think you can see there that there's a lot of potential for doing interesting things, especially when you're using these gate signals to fire off an envelope or to trigger some other voice so that you're getting melodic content that is coming in and out of sync with each other.